Pioneer's Arc app is a free app from Pioneer that you can download onto your iPhone from the App Store. The Arc app is the advanced remote control app. It turns your phone into a remote control to operate your in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may be a 1DIN model or a 2DIN model and may or may not have a CD slot across the top like this one, the button operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer models. MVHS300BT MVHS400BT FHS500BT DEHS4000BT DEHS4010BT What software do I need to make the ARC app work on my in-dash receiver? Let's start with the in-dash receiver. Go to pioneerelectronics.com and download and install the latest firmware updates for your particular in-dash receiver. The ARC app will work on all varieties of iPhone from iPhone 5 and up operating on iOS, version 8.0 or higher. And then go to the App Store and search for Pioneer ARC. Look for this icon in the store. The ARC app is free from Pioneer. Download and install the Pioneer ARC app on your phone. So I have the ARC app installed on my phone and uh, I have a Bluetooth connection from my iPhone uh, to the in-dash receiver. I'll just touch my telephone button there. You can see iPhone 5 is connected. That's what we want. Now let's check a setting on the in-dash receiver to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. Now I can operate the ARC app uh, both Bluetooth and wired. And I'll show you how to do both of those things. Uh, we're going to turn the head unit off. So press and hold the source control, source button for a couple of seconds. Then we'll enter into the system menu. Here's the system menu, and we want to roll along here until we find Phone Connect. There's Phone Connect, and press Enter. Now I can choose iPhone here, Android phone, or other device. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an iPhone with the ARC app, so choose iPhone. And then we have two connection types, either Bluetooth or wired, and we'll show you how to do the wired connection in a minute at the, toward the end of the video. We're going to start off with the Bluetooth connection. Well, I'll confirm there, and that's all I need to do. Now I'm just going to press the source button to go out to the radio, and I'm going to touch the ARC app on my phone. When I see this caution screen come up, I can say OK. And now the phone is connected to the in-dash receiver and operating the ARC app. Pretty much everything you see on the display of the in-dash receiver, you'll also see over here on the phone. Since we're on the AM FM radio source, we can change the band that we're listening to by touching the band button. Or we can go to AM radio and back over to FM band number one. I can seek radio stations by touching the outer ring. And I have my radio station presets across the top here. you put two fingers on the on the phone and turn it like a volume control, you can adjust the volume of the in-dash receiver. Let's change to another source. So I'm going to swipe up. And here you can see some other sources. If I want to listen to the CD, just choose that. And we switch to the CD source. We'll swipe up again. And I have a USB uh, thumb drive plugged in right here. We can switch to USB. Swipe up again. If I want to hear music that's stored on my phone, I can choose music. While I'm here, I can swipe down. And I can check this as playlists. Here's artists. Albums. Let's go back to artists. And we'll choose something to play. We 
We'll swipe up again and I have I can choose Pandora, Spotify, auxiliary input, and I can choose uh, music from other phones that are in my vehicle. So if I have a car full of friends and all the phones are connected to the in-dash receiver, I can pull up the ARC hub and check the phone list and I can choose another phone to play some music. If I touch the settings down here, that opens up my settings and I have the, uh, the control over virtually every function of the in-dash receiver right from the phone. Let's check the audio settings first. Here you can see I have control over my equalizer. I can switch the subwoofer on and off. Check the, uh, change the phase and the level of the subwoofer. Here's my dynamic bass enhancer available. We can switch that into the high position and we'll go back. And here's my advanced audio settings as well, where I can change my crossover settings, slope settings, uh, listening position, and time alignment settings are all available right from the uh, phone, and they control everything on the in-dash receiver. And I can manage available apps here as well. Let's go back to the AM FM tuner. Now let's take a moment and we'll show you how to set up the wired connection for the ARC app. So right now I'm on the AM FM source and I have the ARC app is closed on the phone right now. So I'm gonna press and hold on the, uh, on the source button for a couple of seconds till I switch the in-dash receiver off. Now I'll press in on the volume control and I wanna go to the system menu Here's system, and then we want the phone connection menu. There's phone connect, and of course, we're connecting an iPhone here, so make sure we choose iPhone, and under the connection type, we have Bluetooth or a wired connection. So in this part of the video, we're showing you how to do a wired connection through USB. So I'll just touch uh, the wired connection there, and now I'm gonna press the source to go out to the radio, just to make it a little simpler here. There's the radio. Now I can touch the ARC app on my phone here, and uh, that may connect to the in-dash receiver, but if that doesn't make a connection for you, now in this case it did, but I'm gonna go back and close the ARC app here. If you don't get an automatic connection, press and hold the volume control for a couple of seconds, and that will automatically start up the ARC app and make that connection for you. We'll say OK to the caution, and from this point, everything works exactly the same as the Bluetooth connection uh, that you did uh, with the ARC app. 